I'd like you to imagine being Max. OK. As far as you can recount, what took place in respect of Max and the milkshake? Well, he does this stupid thing where he bobbles his head when he's falling asleep. Well, show me! Like this. <laughs> <laughs> then what happened? And then... And the milkshake went all over the van. I, would, I wouldn't say it's my fault, though. Is it my fault? No, Judge. <laughs> I don't think I've caused anyone to spill a milkshake. It's the fast food restaurant's fault. Why was it their fault? Because they didn't put the lid on properly, so it, then it obviously fell out, cos it happens a lot. When you buy drinks and it's not on properly, you have to re reconnect it. So it's a plausible answer. Plausible. So you don't have any responsibility. And so what you might say is if they don't put the lid on, and there have been cases like this, if you'd scalded yourself, for example, with a hot drink, you would be suing that fast food restaurant, correct? Luckily, it was a milkshake. Luckily, it was. What about if you'd had a cigarette in your hand, for example? Would you have put it out before thinking about falling asleep? No. I mean, yes. Yes! <laughs> Now, the thing was, he did his best to clean it up insofar as he could in his tired state. It wasn't a terribly good job. What happened? What was the result so, of it? So, we didn't use the van over that weekend, and it was in October when it was really hot. So, I opened the door, and it, the milk had obviously gone off. Give me a sense. There you are. You open the door. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Just like what that. are we talking? Give me a sense of the precise word. How did it smell? And don't you worry about my blushes. How bad? Imagine you get a cut on your foot that gets infected and you break it and the bone's sticking out, so they wrap it in a cast and it doesn't get washed for six weeks. And then they take the cast off and the infection has gone sepsis. <laughs> That's as bad as it was, if not worse. It was horrendous. That's Sorry, extraordinarily descriptive. <laughs> You're telling me that your van smelt like trench foot? Yes. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> I had to get it professionally cleaned, which, at the time, didn't seem that much of an issue until they told me it would take a long time to get the smell out of the van. It took them seven hours. £120, is that right? That's Why don't you owe it, Max? You spilt the milk. I, I think it's... that... I... Did you smell it? I, I didn't, know. I, tr I did try to clean it up, and, and since then I have not got milkshake, I've got fruit-based drinks instead. So. <laughs> But, but I am willing to pay. I, I think I should pay half of it. It was in the band. It was a band problem. It was, it was by accident. So yes. you spilt the milkshake, so it's your fault. But I think you're just being a bit of a Scrooge, to be honest. I just think that you're being tight with money. It's his fault. He fell asleep, which is the reason why the milkshake fell over. But he bought me the milkshake while I was tired, so... <laughs> See, <laughs> so this is what he does. He passes the blame on to everybody else. It's never his fault. Understood. Now, Dominic, Max, it's been a joy, a privilege, a pleasure, a legal triumph having the two of you in my court today. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, in order for you to bring a successful claim against Max, you have to prove that what he did was negligent as opposed to an accident. It seems to me that over the years you're perfectly aware that accidents do happen. I'm satisfied it wasn't the most sensible thing in the world for him to have a drink in his hand at the time he was tired and he should have put it down. But, sir, that's not negligence. That, I'm afraid to say, is a straightforward accident. And consequently, he doesn't, as a matter of law, owe you the £120 that it costs to clean up the van. I, therefore, have to dismiss your case. But I do say this, Max, as a moral obligation and being a decent person in the band, you ought to follow through with the promise that you've made to me today and pay at least half of that £120. I will do. Are you prepared to do that? I am, yes. Excellent. You're going to make a Christmas promise because I can't make an order. Judge Rinder. Judge Rinder. I hereby <laughs> promise... I hereby promise... To pay Dominic £60. To pay Dominic £60. Even though I'm not legally obliged. Even though I'm not technically legally obliged. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dominic. Merry Christmas, Dominic. Merry Christmas, Dominic. And a Happy New Year, Judge Rinder. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best Judge Rinder moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.